Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter Rise. And today we're turning our attention to the Great Sword and the Switch Axe. Of course, in this video we're talking about the Great Sword. But uh, yo, there's a couple of spicy things today and I want to begin, before we go any further, by talking about the armor. So if you guys do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And of course, keep it locked because we've still got a few more weapons to go through. But... As mentioned, before we even talk about the weapon, because that's really what we're here to talk about, let me just touch on this armor. This armor looks incredible. This is from a brand new monster, a monster we have not seen yet, but it's obviously an ice monster, which means it'll be linked to the ice tundra. And when you look at the actual renders, oh my goodness, this thing looks incredible. It's got like this sort of Oni demon mask, like this ice Oni demon mask, like you've got all the ropes wrapped around the greatsword. And that is just a, that that is a meaty greatsword. When you say greatsword, this is what I think. Like, I'm not thinking about some piddly little sword or a stick. This is a great sword. That is like a giant ice cleaver. I love everything about this. So right now, before I even get the weapon, I want to see what the monster is that comes from this. Like, I'm picturing some sort of big, I don't know, powerful snow bear slash monkey slash ape. Like, a big sort of powerful, almost, if any of you guys play Sekiro, I picture, like, the ape boss from that. Give me something like that. That would be nuts. But anyway, let's talk about the greatsword. So intro montage, we of course see uh, you know a charged arrow slash. We see the setup for a couple of these silk bud attacks, and of course we see some familiar moves. Basically, you know, giving you some more aerial power for the greatsword is going to be pretty sweet in combat. So if we jump over to the gameplay, that shows off the very first thing. It shows off some of the sort of aerial mobility. The fact that you can use the wire bug to launch yourself into the sky. You can then dash from there to reposition and go straight into a very fast aerial greatsword charge like that. Re positioning power is going to be so cool like you don't just have to launch up above the monster and just slam down you can launch the side and dash across like what that is just nuts like that that's going to be so cool like again i just love it when you take these heavier weapons that typically require that you move a lot slower or reposition very carefully and just give them something like the wire bug where you can just move like a madman like oh my goodness this is going to be fun but jumping over to the second one, we of course see that, uh, you know, familiar wide sweeping attack. We go into the shoulder tackle, which again, we know, you know, you can of course use to firm attacks. You can of course use it to dish out uh, stun damage and you then go straight into another wide sweeping attack. We do know from one of the recent uh, Capcom TV channel gameplay videos that there are a couple more like combo paths to getting to the true charge slash. But regardless, for the time being, this is just a showcase of the uh, shoulder tackle. And then we go into the third clip, which again is uh, slightly more familiar, just showing off the uh, true charge slash. But you can, of course, see that one goes off the back of that wide swiping attack. So, you know, instead of the kind of typical charge, dash back, charge, dash back, instead you can kind of go from that wide sweeping attack and go straight into the true charge slash. So uh, that is going to be pretty cool. Like, you know, it's nice to sort of have different combo paths and things, different uh, ways to sort of set these up. So, yeah, that is going to be pretty handy. But then if we jump over to the first Silkbind move, this one is the Power Sheath. Now we've seen this one in the most recent gameplay they shared on the Capcom channel when they showed off the Greatsword walkthrough, but the Power Sheath is a Silkbind attack comprised of a quick wire bug assisted dash and a sheathing motion that boosts your attack power for a short time. So I mentioned before, this is similar to sort of a hunting art for generations, only it doesn't just boost your first attack when you draw your weapon. This instead is a duration boost. Again, you know, the clips here are super cut up, but from what we gathered from the uh, Capcom gameplay, it appears to be around sort of 20, 30 seconds, give or take. But, you know, again, I need to verify that exactly when it comes to playing the demo. But main thing is you have this as an ability to quickly dodge and get out of the way. So again, you know, very, very nice for one of those slower weapons. You happen to be charging up something big and you kind of leave yourself vulnerable, knowing that you can just dash out quickly, put your weapon away and give yourself a damage boost. Now it gives you great repositioning power and you can then dash in and set up for a powerful attack. However, jumping over to the next one, we of course have Hunting Edge, which uh, says split the heavens with a giant blade, which you genuinely have right now. This is a giant blade, but you have a forward leaping attack and after landing a hit, you can either follow up with a powerful charged slash or a charged plunging thrust in midair. So you have two options, basically. You can see in this initial one, you basically go towards the monster and upon landing the attack, you are launched into the sky. From there, you can then assume the familiar sort of aerial charge animation and just slam downwards. Or alternatively, you can flip the blade and perform this plunging thrust, which appears to hit multiple times on the way down. So depending on your placement or potentially, you know, like the uh, hitbox of the monster, then you're going to be choosing those accordingly. But honestly, that is very 
very cool. And then it rounds out with a few more fancy little clips. But that is pretty much it for the Greatsword. Honestly, a couple of new moves there. Generally speaking, Greatsword is one of those uh, you know simpler weapons in terms of moveset. It doesn't necessarily have too many things going for it because obviously it's more about those big considered damaging hits. But the fact that we've got a new combo path to True Charge Slash and we've got some nice aerial options is going to be fantastic in combat. So that's it for the time being. That's a little rundown on the Greatsword. We also have the Switch Axe to talk about today, so that'll be on the channel a little bit later on. And of course, keep a lot because tomorrow we'll have the final two weapons, the Charge Blade and the Hunting Horn. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arax Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there, the team's in there. If you guys want to chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.